Hello again everybody, this is Glockman4519. Um, I am back with another multi-ROM video. Uh, in this video, I am going to show you guys how to uh, swap a primary with a secondary ROM. Um, it's fairly simple to do. Um, if you followed my instructions on how to install multi-ROM, uh, what you want to do is you want to go into recovery. So we want to reboot to recovery. Uh, remember, multi-ROM is just a, um, it's, it's just twerp recovery that's been uh, uh, modified quite a bit, actually. Uh, this video won't be too long. Um, it's just, uh, it just shows you how to swap. So, uh, okay. Now, in order to swap a, it, in order to swap a ROM, uh, all you have to do is you go into multi-ROM. And you're going to see two options. You're going to see swap ROMs or add ROM. Well, we don't want to add a ROM. We want to swap a ROM. What I want to do is I want to swap my primary ROM with a secondary ROM. Right now, my primary ROM I'm running is an older version of Screwed. Now, I just uh, added Screwed Milestone, which is the newest version, uh, to a secondary. So what I want to do is I want to switch them around. So what you do is you click on Swap ROMs. Now, it's going to give you some choices. You can either swap primary ROM with secondary. You can copy secondary ROM to a primary slot. Uh, you can copy your primary ROM to, uh, to your secondaries, um, which I don't understand. Copy oh, you can copy secondary ROM to a primary slot. Um, copy primary ROM to your secondary uh, slot. Move your primary ROM to your secondaries, which I've tried that. It doesn't let me because you don't have anything to put there. Um, or you can duplicate a secondary ROM. What we're going to do is we are going to swap. We're going to swap ROMs. Now, this is going to come in handy if you are, like, say you want to load um, the end preview. The best way to do that is to, um, and it, let's say you want to run that end preview in a secondary slot. Well, the best way to do it, honestly, is to just flash it in your primary and leave it there. But if you are hell-bent on putting it in your secondary and flashing it there, I suggest flashing it in your primary. Uh, flash it in the primary just like, uh, just like they tell you to do, uh, which is flash the ROM. You flash, um, you flash uh, Super Sue, I think is it, is all you do. The ROM and Super Sue and any mods because uh, it has G apps and everything right in it. Uh, once that's done, boot your ROM up, set it all up, get your Google, uh, all that stuff ready to go, then boot back into multi-ROM, and then you want to swap it with a secondary. You're going to move it to a secondary spot and put another ROM in your primary. So, um, we're going to swap primary with secondary, uh, and we are going to swap it with, um, let me scroll down here so I can find it, with Screwed Shamu 2.0 Milestone. All right, so all you have to do is once you, once you tell it which ones you want to swap, uh, it's also going to say what do you want to name that primary now because it's going to move to the secondary, so you have to pick a name. I'm just going to let it at MHC19J because I can always rename it uh, once I boot back up into the ROM. So we're just going to swipe to confirm. Now this is going to take a little while. It all depends on how much stuff you have in the ROM. Now since I just installed that secondary, it shouldn't take that long at all because there's not much on it. Um, and you know me guys, I do not uh, edit my videos, so we're just going to let this run. Um, I'll do a little talking. Um, I'm a little a little bit away from the camera right now because I'm getting a drink, but uh, uh, I can't even think. The, the longest this should take is maybe three to four minutes. All right, uh, that's already copying the data. Um, yeah, I've actually used this um, swapping the ROMs for the uh, end preview, uh, but I found out, to be honest with you, uh, after running it both way in the primary and in a secondary slot, uh, that it is um, much, much more stable if you just keep it in a primary. Uh, I did not flash the bootloaders. I did not flash. I did flash the radios. Um, I like to keep my radios updated. Radios are an objective thing. Uh, it all depends on your on your device. Uh, you may run better with um, with three or four uh, radios older, you know, instead of the newer. It seems like mine runs better uh, with the newer radios, so I, I kind of keep mine up to date. Uh, but as said, I did not flash uh, the bootloader. I did not 
put that on. So I'm still running the um, the marshmallow bootloader. Um, I'm not going to flash the bootloader until everything is uh, up to uh, par and running, you know, as good as can be. Uh, once they have all the bugs and tweaks out and they actually announce it uh, as uh, released, then I will probably update my bootloader. Um, trying to think of anything else I should tell you. Uh, Kaxec Hardboot. Um, what is that? That is a patch that is put uh, into or built into a kernel that allows the use of uh, multi-ROM. Um, you want to make sure that the kernel that you have on your primary ROM has that patch in it, okay? And if you read down through the kernel threads, it will tell you if it does or it doesn't. Most kernels, most custom kernels have it. So, you know, it did not take that long at all. I just completely swapped. So, all I'm going to do now is reboot my system. And I'm, I'm not even going to touch anything. I'm going to let it go right. I'm just going to let it boot to the primary. Uh, the last video, I showed you how to uh, boot into one of your secondaries. Um, this video here, instead of hitting cancel and picking, I'm just going to let it go into the boot mode. And what happens is if you don't touch it, it just goes ahead and boots right into your internal ROM. And that internal ROM should be uh, the ROM I just installed um, on my last video, which is Screwed uh, Milestone. So we will see. Because, you know, I mean, they're both screwed. <laughs> I just love this ROM. Yeah, it's... Uh... Alright, it is booted. And it looks like it's definitely primary. Uh, let me go in and look. Uh, yes, it's definitely primary ROM. Okay, um, I'm going to show you though. We're going to go back and we'll go into my multi-ROM. And I'm going to show you guys that we swapped ROMs. Uh, I'm in my primary right now. So, if I go into multi-ROM manager. And click on manage ROMs. There, that MHC19J. Uh, that was my internal so, I could actually rename it by hitting edit, and then typing, whoops, whoops, screwed, old, and then click rename, and it is going to rename it to screwed old. There it is. I can even put a little icon next to it if I want. Um, we're going to go with, uh, since it's uh, AOSP based, we're going to try to, we'll, we'll go with that one right there. And there you have it, guys. Um, that is how you swap a ROM. Um, I think I covered almost everything. I showed you how to delete the ROMs and multi-ROM, how to install it uh, with the app. Um, installing it in the system, uh, it's not much harder uh, we're going to go ahead and reboot to recovery. I'll show you that real quick, uh, and then, then we're going to have to end this video. It's not that hard to install from recovery, neither. Um, you, you have to go to the, uh, to the multi-ROM website. You have to download the, uh, the latest multi-ROM zip. Uh, then what you're going to do is you're going to, um, you're going to install that right in your regular, uh, your primary. So what you would do is you go to install. Then you want to go to the where they where they're at. You don't even have to wipe cache, Delvic, anything like that. Uh, I actually have them under ROMs and under multi-ROM official. Oops, I hit kernels, so I want to go up level multi-ROM official. All right. Um, what you want to do is you're, you're going to have two versions of it. You're going to have the uh, multi-ROM uh, V33 Shamu zip, and then you're going to have a uh, you're going to have a recovery. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is you want to install the multi-ROM uh, V33 Shamu zip. So you click on it. Um, I'm going to say uh, <laughs> inject. Well, no, I'm not because you wouldn't have that feature. So we're going to swipe to install. 
it is now installing uh, multi-ROM even though I know it's already installed on there it just put it in again okay so now I'm gonna go back now I have to have a recovery on there okay because now you want to think of the recovery I'm running as an older recovery so I'm going to uh, select an image uh, and I want the newest so that would be twerp shamu 2016 7 let me see 2016 2 7 uh, the 2016 210 image that would be the one I want and that is to recovery swipe install now we want to go back 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 reboot recovery there it is twerp multi rom twerp v3000 now that's not the themed one i was running a themed one but this is going to be what you're going to actually uh have once you install from the app okay this is what it this is what it will look like and guys that's it that it's that simple to install multi rom uh all, if you go to multi rom manager you're going to notice i have all my roms that i had from before now if you're just starting this out you're going to have nothing here of course uh, just the options to add or swap. Well, you won't even be able to swap anything. But, um, well, actually, well, no. Uh, you will you will be able to add a backup or something. But anyways, uh, that's pretty much it. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and reboot into my primary. So reboot system. Uh, let that reboot. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and uh, sign this off on the boot up screen of uh, Screwed. We're going to click boot now. And make sure it boots. Yep. Okay, guys. Um, that was uh, how to swap ROMs and how to uh, do a quick install of uh, multi-ROM in recovery. Um, I hope you guys liked the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Um, uh, again, I appreciate all my subscribers. Again, this here was uh, one of those um, uh, requested videos, and I'm more than happy to do them. Uh, I'm not uh, much into doing the video camera thing, but uh, if I have to, I will. Um, and I will see you guys on the next one.